Hey everyone, we're back here at the uh, 2000 Chevy S10. And uh, one thing that I had when I first bought this vehicle is uh, someone didn't replace the door shims and the pins every single time when they should have. So it had a really saggy door. But as you know with these vehicles, the hinges are welded on to the frame and to the door. So the only way you can really replace the um, part of the um, hinge that actually wears when you don't replace the um, pins and shims in a lot enough time uh, The only way you can do that is by replacing the whole hinge and if you don't have a weld or you don't have the skills to it's kind of a pain in the butt So I came up with a solution uh, For this door and sorry, I didn't do a video of it, but uh, I wanted to just show you what I ended up doing so in here you can see that I welded a piece of plate steel on top of my hinge and now um, when I, uh, um, I held the door up and when I welded it on there, it's now taking up the gap on the top hinge and don't get me wrong, it will probably wear out at some point, but what I'll just do is I'll go ahead and, uh, um, take the, uh, grinder and grind off that weld and put another piece of, uh, steel on there. If I have to replace the pin, I replace the pin, but this is taking up the slack so that way I don't have to replace the door hinge. Uh, the bottom one was okay, so I didn't end up doing anything with the bottom one. So I just did the top one, and it is working great. So no longer do I have to actually hold up on the door to shut it. I can just go ahead and just swing it in, and it shuts just fine. Open it back up. Doesn't drop. Everything's working great. So that's a quick fix. If you have a welder and a piece of plate steel, you can do that in about an hour and it saves you from buying the heaven buying new hinges and welding them on there you go there you have it please like and subscribe if you like this and uh leave a comment if you have any questions on this